Hi everyone, it's me, Whimsy, and I've just finished my remote viewings for the evening. For those of you who are just tuning into this channel, <laughs> I'm a heart-centered remote viewer, and I do my work often at night, uh, so I often will record these uh, late into the night. And we have a couple things I wanted to share with you regarding information that I have from tonight's remote views. The first thing I want to talk about is the uh, Fawny Willis out of Georgia. And the people are talking about the fact that they anticipate indictments to be coming out. I think that we're going to see Trump charged. We're certainly going to probably, it feels to me when I go into this energy that by February 6th, between the 6th and the 8th, some kind of filing will take place. Uh, it, those people who've watched this channel for a while know that I try to give you the dates as best as I can uh, based, on, based on what I can figure out. Heart-centered remote viewing is a technique which is very ancient. I didn't invent it. It is the ability to empathize with another person, put yourself in the shoes of that person to the best of your ability, and see through their eyes if you've done it right. And it just feels to me like this was a very, this is a very, very busy week for Fonnie Willis and that will be ready to file by Tuesday of next week. So we're now into February 1st. So the 6th would be Monday of next week. The 7th would be Tuesday. So right about then, I feel like I'm filing some kind of motion. When will the general public find out about it? Probably by the 8th or the 9th, I would think. I hope that gives people as much accuracy uh, in terms of the dates uh, to expect some kind of news coming out of uh, from Fonnie Willis out of Georgia. So between the 6th and the 7th, some type of filing and possibly uh, the public knowing about it by the 7th or 8th of February. That's the first thing I want to just get out. The second thing I want to get out has to do with Michael Cohen and the fact that we uh, have done remote viewings of Mike my cat's playing in the background, my apologies. Uh, we were asked, I was asked if I could remote view Michael Cohen and put myself in the shoes of Michael Cohen. And when I went into the altered state and I sat across from the New York District Attorney at the table, it looked like I was rehearsing. Uh, they were asking me a series of questions that they would be asking me uh, in front of a grand jury, and that they were prepping me to speak at a, for a grand jury. And so from that information that I was able to access through Michael Cohen, I found out that uh, New York was, that, that uh, Braggs, uh, the DA Braggs was, uh, he had, he had, a, he had a, a grand jury over the Stormy Daniels case. Now when you go further into this, you see that this is only the beginning of an investigation into Trump and the Trump Organization. It's not just Stormy Daniels. There are other uh, legal issues that he's facing in terms of tax evasion, etc. So I just wanted to get that out of the way as well um, for tonight's reading. And the third thing I wanted to say had to do with the slow burn of the GOP and how the feds are getting closer and closer to the people who took money from foreign actors, whether it was Deripaska or people who worked for Deripaska created fake 
groups, lobbying groups, shell companies, etc., that then could funnel money from Deripaska and from the Russian mob via New York into people's accounts. And specifically, uh, that has to do with uh, congressional seats, etc., uh, inside New York. Also, expect more investigations. Uh, this, I don't think, has hit the press yet. Uh, investigations into police, police compliance, and the covering up of information by the police in New York of certain uh, crimes that have to do with uh, racketeering, uh, Russian mob, etc. The last thing I want to mention that could be heating up as well has to do with something which is kind of a new form of triangular trade, human trafficking, drug trafficking, on the eastern uh, United States, Florida, the islands, etc., uh, which has been uh, heavily trafficked both with uh, out of uh, Cuba, Russia, Russian mob, etc., and and that organized uh, crime to Miami, uh, Miami police, and. Uh, people in uh, Miami who've been compromised. So all of that is coming to the surface. Um, part of that has to do with the fact that certain oligarchs who had mega yachts are <laughs> uh, where secret clandestine meetings were going on, etc., crimes, bribes, etc. The police, both in the United States and elsewhere, have confiscated some of those yachts and now they're uh, being brought back to the United States. They're being combed for additional information. So we're going to see a bunch of stuff coming out of Miami as well. So that is tonight's remote. I was happy to give you the dates for uh, Fawny Willis and also information about uh, Michael Cohen a couple weeks ago. Uh, now that we're seeing the uh, the grand jury uh, coming together. All right, thank you everyone for your continuing support of the channel. I will see you on Thursday for Hot Topics, and I'm sure there will be a lot for us to talk about. Uh, be well, and uh, we'll see you next time.